Twilio is a powerful tool for text messaging, and they they built some really interesting things within Salesforce. So what I want to do is to uh, to show it to you real quick. Okay, so I'm in a in a contact record. Uh, what you're seeing is activity chatter details. If I if I scroll down within this record, what I'm able to see is there's a, a Twilio uh, component that we've that we've added, which allows us to do kind of text messaging within a detail record. And we can enter. In this case, I entered you know test message, and what I get back is uh, let me just drag it down. Um, <laughs> Make a little view a little better. Um, I reply just yes. You know the challenge is is that when you get this yes message, uh, you may not still be looking at this record. So unless you go back to the Twilio console, uh, there's no real way to know. So what I'm going to do is, and let me just kind of take you there, is I want to show you a process builder uh, that what it does is to access the the Twilio uh, message object and a field called uh, direction. And uh, we're looking for a condition called inbound. And then what I'm going to do is to show uh, this is an apex, uh, a, 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 an action that's a, a, a Twilio apex uh, that lets us uh, send a message. So that's the if it, if that all makes sense, go do it because uh, it's actually pretty impressive and easy to do. Uh, what I'll do is to take you through the steps though. So first thing you want to do is you want to go out to Process Builder. And you want to be able to then, um, you want to create a new one, but I've got one built, so I'm just going to show it to you. And uh, again, the condition for this is that what we're doing is going out to this message object and the direction field, and we're looking for inbound. Um, so let me, let me take you out and show you how to, how to get there, and then we'll come back for the second step. Um, so assuming we're at a home page and what we want to do is to go out to the Twilio objects that are available to us. And so what I'm going to do is to run the app launcher. I'm going to do a TW and I'm going to see I've got a configuration and an inbox. Um, not seeing what I want. So what that means is that it's not available here, but it is available through the object manager. So if you go, uh, you know, set up uh, to home, to object manager, what you're able to do here is to do again TW, and what you get is access to um, this uh, this message object. Uh, and digging down into that, uh, what we find is is that there are a series of, of fields that you can look at, including one called status of the message. But uh, that's not what you want. <laughs> and again, thanks to uh, to Charlie Atulio for his coaching on this. What you're really looking for is a field here called direction. And if we if we go out and take a quick look at direction, uh, what you're seeing is, is that, and again, this is in the um, uh, Twilio message object and its direction. And what you get down here is that there are several values. And one of those values is inbound. So what we're testing for is, is that condition. Um, and then as we go back and we look, uh, so that's where that's where this is coming from, right? So this is testing for that inbound condition, uh, it, you know, to see whether or not we've received a new message. Um, and then the next step then in the process builder is we build out an immediate action. I've actually got two. One is an email alert, which is straightforward. The second one though is, is interesting in that it's an it's send an SMS. So that's my action. And what I have is an an Apex class, uh, this is something that comes with the Manage app from Twilio, which is, is how to send it. And so what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the, you know, for the, for the, for the message of my text message. Uh, what I'm going to do is to use a formula and go out to and just call it, that's just text, right? New message from Salesforce. And then I'm using uh, Twilio message body. Uh, and so that's the body of the message. So what that is is just to flip you a quick note to say what that looks like. And there's lots of other information you could include. So if we actually go back uh, to this message, right, you could include any of these this information that would make sense uh, in, in terms of being able to identify this unique message. Um, but hope that helps. And again, it, uh, Twilio is a real powerful tool, and I and I wish you good luck with it.